And maybe it's, uh, it's a flaw of Trump, is that he didn't hide from the virus. And the reason why he didn't hide from the virus is he didn't want America to hide from the virus. If he was going to ask America to get back to work, right, to get back to work and experience a risk, he was going to do the same thing. He was going to walk out there on that battlefield with you and not sit somewhere in a basement and tell you how, you know, how you got to get back to work, but not go out himself. So I think he put himself on a line, on the line, and, and the flaw being that as an optimist, as somebody who's trying to convey a message that we're going to get through this and things are going to be better, he had to walk that walk. He had to do that. He, he could have scared the crap out of everybody, but he refused, and it goes back to his original point about trying to make sure the positive attitude is maintained along with a sense of concern. So he took the risk. He got the virus. But, but I it think, was because but, he was, the, he but, was, he was doing Greg, it Greg, for Greg. us. And if I could say one thing to all of the people out there watching, forget the politics. This is a public safety health issue. The president of the United States is the, in the most secure bubble in the world, in the sense that everybody who comes in contact with him has to take a test, and he's still got it. So wear the damn mask and follow the science. Oh.